Redmond could soon get a better look at the nighttime skies. During tonight's city council meeting, councilors okayed the next step toward LED streetlight replacements. Alec Nolan joins us now with the details. Alec? Three councilors are moving forward with an audit to look at installing more than a thousand new lights. Back in 2014, the city partnered with Amoresco, a renewable energy company, to kickstart citywide energy efficient projects. Amoresco says the city could save $70,000 a year by switching to LED. The company says there would also be a significant reduction in light pollution across the night sky. And this is not a doctored photo. Um, this is the same camera, same aperture settings, um, but you can see a significant reduction in the night sky glow by the LEDs. And this has a lot to do with the directional nature of LEDs and the way that they are installed. Mayor George Endicott was unanimously backed by counselors to look at next steps. The new lights could last up to 30 years. The city would also have the option to adjust the color temperature. Counselors also got an update on the planned Regional Emergency Services Training and Coordination Center. A centralized hub in Central Oregon to help respond to natural disasters has been discussed for more than a decade. The potential site is at the former Redmond Rod and Gun Club shooting range near the Redmond Airport. And so if that tsunami hits um, the west coast of Oregon, um, the Valley people are going to have to have a place to go, and it's going to be Redmond because we're the one with the airport. So um, I think this is a really important project, and I think that um, being aware and being ready for um, something like this is, it is really tantamount to preservation of life. Mayor Endicott, with the support of counselors, recommended preparing a memorandum of understanding between the city and the Central Oregon Intergovernmental Council. The city also recently committed $12,000 to pay for some of the land use work to date. 